me and today we are out and about because today I'm going to show you guys what it's like to work on an actual is a college TV show so I work on after hours um, by the way so we're filming our Halloween episode so everyone's gonna be in costume today so it's gonna look a little extra spooky compared to usual <laughs> Woo! so let's go explore check it out and like learn I don't know let's go <laughs> Oh, I didn't buy this, it's Tommy. So if you take a look, this is what our set looks like. We have a bunch of PAs right now working setting up. Wait, hi PAs! With YouTube channel. But basically the PAs and lighting get here first because they set up the whole set. They are like the personal assistants, I guess, so to speak, and they get everything rolling. So let's move over here. So these are the cameras that we work with, and I don't know anything about them. So that shows you what I know. But they're cool, professional. We actually use three of them all at once, and they're each operated by a camera person, which is really cool. We have a camera person right here. Tell us, do you like your job? Yeah, it's a great job. I'm getting paid little to nothing, but we're having a good time. It's always a good time here and after. That's good. So if we swing around, can we, do you mind? Oh yeah, go for it. This is good. So, you can see inside to the camera here, but you can see in here how to control, and then there's the handles, and then there's a button to zoom in, zoom out. It's very high, high professional, high technical stuff we got going on here. So, let's move to the control room. So currently, the music is really loud in here. So sorry about the music, I'm practically shouting guys, but this is the control room. This is the room I get to sit in. It's currently empty, no one is here yet because we don't have to get here until a little later. PAs and lighting usually have to show up generally a little earlier. Um, this is where I get to sit. Ooh, this is where my magic happens. So the room actually straight across the studio. This is the proper room. And yes, the school actually just has all of these things here for us to be able to use whenever we need it for TV shows. Sometimes you can even use this in classrooms if you're in a film class and doing a shoot like practice in class. So we could take whatever we want like tables, chairs, there's rugs over there, there's backdrops. What you saw the PA setting up was all taken from this room. So it's really cool because you really can basically create like any type of set that you can imagine. Like if you want it to be more modern, you can. If you want it to look more like a living room, you can. Like it has all the things. Okay, let's head to the next room. <laughs> there are lots of rooms. Oh no, the door is shut. Can we go in? Um, just the newsroom. Where is it? Well, we're not going to go into this room, but this is the green room and this is basically where no you're good to okay yeah <laughs> there's just someone practicing uh, is Mike in here? so this room is the green room and basically i don't use this room also but from what i do know about it is that this is where all the producers and assistant producers go to like talk to each other and chat like during the show if they like need to stuff like that um there's computers for use and then right now i believe one of our Actors, which I think he's just doing an interview style thing for the show is in their practicing lines Why don't we get an uncomfortable shot of him? I'll probably blur his face in case it shows And now my favorite part so the best thing about working on an Ithaca College TV show is that we are sponsored by Domino's I don't know if all the shows are but I do know that a lot of them are and we get literally all six of these pies for free and we can open it up it's for all the cast and crew to eat before we start the show. Just to keep everyone fed, you know, no one's going hungry during the show. Um, obviously, as you guys know, I just switched to being plant-based, so I just pull off the cheese off like an annoying little princess, but the pizza is still good. Domino's over Pizza Hut, that's all I gotta say. So this right here. Mama's got the Omni kit. This controls the lighting. Uh, there's someone who specifically just does the lighting, that is their job. And then each little thing controls like the light. So I know! You can see you can do the right. Yeah, you really you are see I'm turning off Fire. the light, which is Run cool. Run That's literally a job. People get to learn how to do that. There's stuff going on back here. This is what it looks behind the scenes. We've got some hard people at work. 
not me. <clears throat> Excuse me, Waldo. Hey. How do you feel about being PA? Do you like it? Do you not like it? You know, it ha it's been pretty fun. We, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, we get to play the games occasionally. We're always cheering for from the live studio audience. You guys will see that later on when we're mm. recording during the show. But um, they make us do a lot, though, not gonna lie. We have to put up all this. So, um, it is a lot. Yeah, when you think about it, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. But you guys... Thank you. Thanks for saying, just like... <laughs> I read him and it was like, hey, you. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Oh, I don't know. Your real name. Sam. Okay. <laughs> I'm still learning their names. <laughs> So this, you already saw that they actually just finished setting it up. So this is where the like fake interview person would sit, and then the interviewee, who is our host of the show, will sit behind this. Our show is called After Hours. I've said that before, but actually, when you're up here, I never am in front of the camera. I'm always working behind. But actually, when you sit here, the lights are so bright, and it's crazy how like professional these lights are. Show the cameras as well, too. Yeah. Those are all the three cameras that I was talking about. And basically my main job as an assistant director, I help set up the shots basically for the camera. So I say, can you tighten up? Can you move more to the right? Make sure that they're staying consistent. I'm mostly needed when we do our performance. So it gets really crazy when we do the performance because we want a variety of shots to make it look more interesting and stuff like that. So I basically just help make the director's job easier. Also, I think it's pizza time, so let's go do that. Have you guys just been observing him? Like, well, I love you, Kenny, for coming and being my cameraman tonight. <laughs> so this is the audio. We basically only use like a small section of it, and each little one, you know, you raise it and lower it to control what the sound is gonna be for the actual audio levels. And actually, your audio person is here. Oh my god, hi. Hi. Can you explain, like, a little bit more than I can about it? Oh yeah, okay. So it's actually, it's really not that scary. You got your inputs right here. So basically, like, there's like connections like out in the studio. So whatever like mic you put the, into the connection, you'll see on here. And then you can turn it on and off with these buttons and turn the volume up with the faders. And um, you can like, there's like other like inputs like VT will go from the server. Oh, and um, like, yeah, you can do like VT, which is like the aux cord. And yeah, so like you got a lot of different like options here. Wow, that was a lot of information. I don't, I don't know. Just... You did good though. Thanks. So this is the switchboard yes that is what it's called and basically again a lot of fancy things that i don't know how to get worked but i do know that these buttons right here control what happens on the screen currently they're white balancing uh basically they just have this little thing and that helps make the colors look correct if you guys didn't know that um so again with these buttons the red ones is what makes it go live to the program and that's what we record we're actually a pre-recorded show so it's not happening live and then the blue puts it into the preview so we can see what it will look like before we decide to bring it to the program and all this stuff does other things as well but i of course again don't exactly know because <laughs> faking it as i make it <laughs> maybe we can talk about this that's funny. Look at her costume. Wait, can you show the camera? Nudist on strike. That's quality. Is that a slice of pizza? Yeah. This is on camera. Oh my god! You didn't see me! <laughs> so, up here is where... I don't know actually what the people who do who sit up here, except this is the director right here. So she just sits from afar and basically says, camera one, take camera one. Preview camera two, take camera two. And two other people sit up here with her. I believe one of them takes the time so we know just about how long because our episodes are about 28 minutes. And then this girl, oh, she's the teleprompter. I just remembered. I don't know how this works, but she sets up the teleprompter. Our announcer and host actually read directly line for line and they make it look pretty good too, if you ask me. And that, oh my god, I didn't even show my job. Let's go to my job. This is the control room, by the way. I've probably said that a bunch of times. <laughs> so this is where I sit, and this is what I control, basically. So I do the recording of the shows, which is honestly like a low key. So 
This is a low-key, very important job. I actually record the episodes, um, and if I do this wrong, I will be in serious trouble because we have to have the episodes recorded. So it's important that I do that, um, and basically, I click a red button, and then I have to make sure it ends up in the correct folder, correctly labeled, which again, very low-key, but like super, super serious and very important. I'm doing important stuff here. I get to wear a headset. I'll just take this one. And then when I wear this headset, one, I instantly turn into a professional working woman. It's the first thing that happens. And then the second is that I can communicate directly with the director, anyone else who wears a headset, and then three cameras, which is the main focus because I'm helping set up the cameras, obviously. This video is probably super funny because I'm wearing butterfly wings the whole time. So we're actually going to be starting to film soon. Everyone's in the control room. We're getting close to time. So you're going to get to see me guys in action. I would I'm going to tell them about books. Camera two, can we zoom out just a little more? Because we'll be slowly zooming out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Start pause. Three. Start moving. Two. One. Two. Three. 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 Two. Three.